Chapter 10 Do Friendship Learning Objectives 1. Acknowledge the links between healthy friendships and positive self-esteem. 2. Consider the reasons it is important to have good friends. 3. Explore strategies to deal with difficult situations in friendships. Warm up. What does make someone a good friend? For example, considering others' feelings is important for someone to be a good friend. While it is important to develop the skills to help you make friends, you should also enjoy the time you spend on your own and do things you love. What do you like doing on your own? I like to be in my room and drift into daydreams. R.K. Narayan 1906-2001 was an Indian writer best known for his works set in fictional South Indian town of Malguri. He is one of three leading figures of early Indian literature in English alongside Mulkraj Anand and Raja Rao and is credited with bringing the genre to the rest of the world. His stories were grounded in a compassionate humanism and celebrated the honor and energy of ordinary life. R.K. Narayan's famous works include The Bachelor of Arts, The Dark Room, The English Teacher, The Financial Expert, The Guide, The Man Eater of Malgari Days, and The Grandmother's Tale. R.K. Narayan has won numerous awards and honors for his work. What makes a good friend? Are you a good friend? Having friends is very important. Friends are people who are there to listen to us and help us. Let's read a story on friendship. River Sarayu was the proud of Malguri. It was some 10 minutes walk from Elaman Street, the last street of the town. Chiefly occupied by oil mongers, its sandbanks were the evening resort of all the people of the town. The usual evening crowd was on the sand. Swaminatham and Mani sat aloof on a river step with their legs dangling in the water. It was some 15 minutes past sunset and there was a soft red in the west. The water runs very deep here, doesn't it? Mani asked. Yes, why? I am going to bring Ranjam here. Bundle him up and throw him into the river. Rajam was a fresh arrival in first A. He had sauntered into the class on the reopening day of the second term, walked up to the last bench, sat beside Money and felt very comfortable indeed till Money gave him a jab in the ribs which he returned. He had impressed the whole class on the very first day. He was a newcomer. He dressed very well. He was only boy in the class who wore socks and shoes a fur cap and tie and a wonderful coat and knickers. He came to the school in a car as well as all this, he proved to be a very good student too. There were vague rumors that he had come from some English boys school somewhere in Madras, now Chennai. He spoke very good English, exactly like a European, which meant that few in school could make out what he said. This Rajam was a rival to money. If money jabbed, Rajam jabbed. If money hit, he hit. If money kicked, he kicked. If money was the overlord of the class, Rajam seemed to be nothing less. And add to all this the fact that Rajam was a regular 70 percenter, second only to Sanka. There were sure indications that Rajam was the new power in the class. Day by day, as money looked on, it was becoming increasingly clear that a new menace had appeared in his life. All this lay behind his decision on the river step to bundle up Rajam and throw him into the river. Swaminatham expressed a slight fear. You forget that his father is the police superintendent. Money remained silent for a while and said, What do I care? Some right, I am going to crack his shoulders with my clubs. If I were you, I would keep out of the way of policemen. They are an awful lot, said Swaminathan. If you were me? <laughs> but thank God I am not you. 
a milk-tooth coward. Swaminathan bit his lips and sighed. Swaminathan was to act as a cord of communication between Rajam and Mani. They were sitting on the last bench with their backs against the yellow wall. Swaminathan sat between Rajam and Mani. Their books were before them on the desk, but their minds were busy. Mani wrote on a piece of paper, Are you man? and gave it to Swaminathan, who pushed it across to Rajam, putting on as offensive a look as possible. Rajam read it, crumpled it, and threw it away. At which Mani wrote another note repeating the question with the addition, You are the son of a dog if you don't answer this, and pushed it across. Rajam hissed into Swaminathan's face, Don't disturb me, I'm and crumpled the letter up. Further progress was stopped. Swaminathan, stand up, said the teacher. Swaminathan stood up faithfully. What is Lisbon famous for? asked the teacher. Swaminathan hesitated and ventured. For being the capital of Spain, the teacher bit his moustache and fired a second question. What do you know about the Indian climate? It is hot in summer and cold in winter. Stand up on the bench, roared the teacher and Swaminathan stood up without a protest. He was glad that he was given this supposedly degrading punishment instead of the cane. Swaminathan paid no attention to the rest of the lessons. When the work for the day was over, Swaminathan, Mani and Rajam adjourned to a secluded spot to say what was in their minds. Swaminathan stood between them and acted as the medium of communication. They were so close that they could have heard each other even if they had spoken in whispers. But it was matter of form between enemies to communicate through a medium. Mani faced Swaminathan steadily and asked, Are you a man? Swaminathan turned to Rajam and repeated, Are you a man? Rajam flared up and shouted, Who doubts it? Swaminathan turned to Rajam and said, Who the hell doubts it? Have you the courage to prove that you are a man? asked Mani. Swaminathan turned to Rajam and repeated it. How? How? repeated Swaminathan to Mani. Meet me at the river near Nalapa's Grove tomorrow evening. Near Nalapa's Grove? Swaminathan was pleased to echo. What for? asked Rajam. Swaminathan's services were dispensed with. They gave him no time to repeat their words. Rajam shouted in one ear and money in the other. So we may expect you at the river tomorrow, said Swaminathan. Yes, Rajam assured them. Money wanted to know if the other would come with guards. No, he would not. And Money voiced another doubt. If anything happens to you, will you promise to keep it out of your father's knowledge? Rajam promised after repudiating the very suggestion that he might act otherwise. Nalapa's Grove stood a few yards before them. It was past six and the traffic for the day between the banks was over. The usual evening crowd was far behind them. Swaminathan and Mani were squatting on the sand. They were silent. Mani was staring at the ground with a small wooden club under his arm. He was thinking he was going to break Rajam's head in a short while and throw his body into the river. But if it should be recovered? But then, how could they know that he had done it? But if Rajam should conk and trouble him at night as a spirit, since his grandfather's death, he was sleeping alone. What if Rajam should come and pull his hair at night? It would be better not to kill him after all. He would content himself with breaking his limbs and leaving him to his fate. If he should batter his head, who was going to find it out? Unless, of course, he cast a sly look at Swaminathan, who was blinking innocently. Unless, of course, Swaminathan informed the police. At the sound of the creaking of boots, they turned and found that Rajam had come. He was dressed in khaki and carried under his arm an air gun that was given to him a couple of months ago on his birthday. He stood very stiff and said, Here I am. Ready? You are late. Yes. We will start. Rajam shouldered his gun and fired a shot in the air. Money was stalled. He stood still, his club down. You heard the shot? asked Rajam. 
the next is going to be into your body if you are keen upon a fight but this is unfair i have no gun while you have it was to be a hand to hand fight then why have you brought your club you never said anything about it yesterday money hung his head what have i done to offend you asked rajam you call me a snake before someone that is a lie there was an awkward pause if this is all the cause of your anger forget it i wouldn't mind being friends nor i said money swavinathan gasped in astonishment in spite of his posing before money he admired rajam intensely and longed to be his friend now this was the happiest conclusion to all the unwanted trouble he danced with joy rajam lowered his gun and money dropped his club to show his goodwill rajam pulled out of his pocket half a dozen biscuits the river's mild rumble the rustling of the people leaves the half light of the late evening and the three friends eating and glowing with new friendship swami nathan felt at perfect peace with the world a story from malgudi days by r k narayan find meaning occupied inhabited dangling moving sauntered strolled vague not clear cramped folded hesitated stopped for a second protest object steadily straight without shaking resort place visited for recreation jab punch offensive hurt or annoyed his spoke angrily roared shouted secluded lonely adjourned break off a meeting for some time exercises creative expression tell your story share an incident where your best friend ever did something you thought was wrong what did you do then did you keep quiet or did you tell your friend what you thought cross curricular connect learning by doing go to the library take hold of the books of malgudi days read more stories tell a story to your partner in your words critical thinking let's play a game task role play situations approximate time 15 minutes preparation time 10 minutes performance time 5 minutes procedure assume the role of various characters construct relevant dialogues enact the situation situations 1 your friend is upset because he couldn't get a good grade on his assignment make him feel better and convince him to talk to the teacher concerned Two, your friend feels possessive of you. You need your friend to understand that you equally loved your friend. Criteria for assessment: one, relevance of dialogues; two, fluency and accuracy; three, creativity; four, group dynamics. Logical thinking: Who would you choose to be your friend? One, David is a very good-looking. Does not share his movie passes. It. really good at sports lies about his homework has expensive toys blames others for mistakes sam it shorter than the most kids says kind words to other is clumsy shares his video games wears hand me downs says sorry and forgives do it yourself what do you want to be David or Sam exercise time write the answer of the following questions 1 who was Rajam how was he different from other boys answer Rajam was a clever boy because he is the new student of class of Swami Nathan no doubt student in the class was able to compete him anywhere no other student in the class was able to compare him in any way Rajam dressed very well. He was the only boy in the class who wore socks and shoes, fur cap and tie, and a wonderful coat and knickers. Two. Why did the children find it difficult to understand what Rajam would say? Answer. Rajam spoke very good English. Other students couldn't speak to Rajam in English because their broken English was halting and weak before that of Rajam. Three. Rajam and Money often fought. Who started the fight? How can you say so? Answer: Money started the fight. There were sure indications that Rajam was the new power in the class. 
day by day as money looked on it was becoming increasingly clear that a new menace had appeared in his life all this lay behind his decisions on the river step to bundle up rajam and throw him into the river number 4 what was swaminathan's role between rajam and money answer swaminathan was to act as a cord of communication between rajam and money number 5 why was swaminathan punished by the teacher answer swaminathan was punished by the teacher for being inattentive in the class till he paid no attention to the lessons and his mind began to wander 6 why did money call rajam to the river near nalopas grow answer it was at last agreed that they would meet the next evening on the banks of the river near nalopas grow accordingly money came to the place with his clubs and rajam came there with his air gun find their meaning one told it to accept the responsibility for something to astonishment very great surprise three runtling to make a sound like dry leaves or paper moving four offend to upset somebody five crumpled collapse fill in the blanks with the correct words one river sarayu was the pride of malgudi two rajam was a fresh arrival in first a Three, Rajam was rival to Mani. Four, Swaminathan was the cord of communication between Rajam and Mani. Five, Mani wanted to know if the other would come from guards. Match the following: Column A, one, startled, shocked; two, soft noise, rumble; three, awkward, clumsy; four, object, protest; five, secluded, lonely. Take the right options. One, Rajam was the only boy in the class who wore one socks and shoes to a hat. Three, shirt. Answer: One, socks and shoes. Two, Rajam came to the river bank carrying a one gun. Two, club. Three, story book. Answer: One, gun. Three, Rajam's father was a one doctor. Two, teacher. Three, police superintendent. Answer three. Police superintendent. Four. Money wanted to one be friends with Rajam. Two. Sit next to Rajam. Three. Throw Rajam into river. Answer three. Throw Rajam into the river. Five. The teacher asked Swami Nathan to one stand up on the bench to write down ten pages. Three. Run around the school ten times. Answer one. Stand up on the bench. Six. Finally, money Rajam and. Swami Nathan, one, pushed each other to become friends. Three, hit each other with sticks. Answer two, became friends. Conceptual understanding. Tell your story, think, and answer. One, why do you think Mani was jealous of Rajam? Two, why did Swami Nathan feel at peace with the world? Do it yourself. Communication. Writing skills. Write a paragraph describing an incident that happened in school, which you can never forget. Reading skills. Read these lines and write the who said this and to whom. Why? One. If I were you, I would keep out of the way of policemen. Swami Nathan. Two. Money. Two. You heard the shot. Rajam. Two. Money. Three. What have I done to offend you? Rajam to money. Listening and speaking skills. Your teacher will read out a paragraph from the story, listen to him or her carefully and answer the questions asked by him or her. 1. Who was the pride of Malgudi? 2. How far was Malgudi from Elemen Street? 3. Which place was the evening resort of all the people of the town? Four. Where did Swami Nathan and Mani sit? Let's learn spellings. A. Look at the words in bold. I took my dog to the vet. Veterinary surgeon. Two. The school has a lab. Laboratory. Three. I visited the zoo. Zoological park. The words vet, lab, and zoo are called clipped words. Why are such words needed? 
Clip words are a short form of a word which makes them easier to spell and write. B. Write down the clip words for the given pictures. Pick, Hippo, Jim, Fridge.